Hi, my name is Ryan Ong, Senior Dietitian from Kutipot Hospital. So a diet high in antioxidants and carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin, is well known to decrease vision loss from AMD as they help to maintain healthy cells and tissues in our eyes. And where can we find these nutrients, especially your antioxidants and carotenoids? They can be found predominantly in our fruits and vegetables. So let me share with you some tips on consuming and selecting fruits and vegetables to give you the best chance of reducing your risk of AMD. So spinach high in carotenoids, especially your lutein and zeaxanthin, can help to protect the tissues and cells in the eyes from damages. They can last for 5 days and look out for their tender stems and leaves for freshness. So white cabbage, especially high in antioxidant vitamin C, can last for 3 days. And to look out for its freshness, try to choose white cabbage with a compact and firm head and they are usually free of black specks. Kailan, high in vitamin A and C, which are antioxidants. They can last for 7 days and look out for a powdery and waxy thick leaves. So another way to ensure freshness of your vegetables is to buy local produce. Examples of your local produce include Caixin, spinach bayam, and kangkong. So look out for the packaging of vegetables the next time when you head out for your grocery shopping. So grapes are high in vitamin C. It's best to consume within 3 days, but maximum up to a week. And look out for grapes that are firm, plump, and tightly attached to the stem. Avoid grapes that are mouldy, wet, and also shriveled as well. Citrus fruits such as your orange, pomelo and lemon are known to be high in vitamin C and carotenoids, especially your lutein and zeaxanthin. They can last up to 3 weeks and try to choose these fruits with some weight to it for freshness. So to prolong the shelf life of your fruits and vegetables, do keep them in the fridge to ensure its freshness with the exception of certain vegetables and fruits such as potato and bananas. Do remember to avoid storing your fruits and vegetables in the same compartment as fruits can cause green vegetables to turn yellow when placed together. So to properly prepare your vegetables, the first step is to remove soy portion of vegetables and cut off the base. The second step is to wash away any residual soy in a basin of water. The last step is to soak your vegetables in fresh tap water for 15 minutes before rinsing once again. So what about fruits? To properly prepare your fruits, gently rub the produce while holding them under plain running water. Are you concerned over fruits' shiny appearance? Fruits have a protective layer of wax to help them resist moisture loss and slow down their natural spoilage. So to learn more about the selection, storage and preparation tips of other fruits and vegetables, please log on to www.sfa.gov for more information. So to ensure that you consume adequate antioxidants and carotenoids, do ensure to consume at least two servings of fruits and vegetables daily. So what is considered as one serving of a fruit is equivalent to actually 10 longan or grapes, one fee size of an apple, orange or pear, one medium banana or one wedge of papaya, pineapple or watermelon. So what about your vegetables then? So one serving of your vegetables is equivalent to 100 grams of your non-leafy vegetables or either 150 grams of your leafy vegetables. So don't forget to eat different coloured fruits and vegetables every single day to ensure that you get the full spectrum of your nutrients that your body really needs. Finding it hard to always buy fresh produce all the time, why not try your frozen or canned vegetables? Frozen vegetables and fruits that includes mixed vegetables and frozen spinach, Brussels sprouts and berries have no nutritional differences from the fresh counterparts as they are frozen quickly to retain much nutrients. 
So just remember, there's no need for you to thaw or soak the frozen vegetables and fruits before cooking. While canned vegetables may have slightly lesser nutrients as compared to fresh or frozen vegetables, they are still great sources of antioxidants and carotenoids. Tips to make your canned fruits and vegetables healthier Do remember when buying your canned fruits, try to choose those that are soaked in fruit juice rather than syrup. And for your canned vegetables, try to actually wash your vegetables and discard the brine solution to limit the intake of sodium. So, do you meet the recommended serving sizes of fruits and vegetables every day? If not, learn with us 8 tips to increase your fruits and vegetables today. So to increase your vegetables, why not try these 4 tips? So first tip is to fill half your plate with vegetables. The second tip is to choose 2 sides of vegetables from your economical rice store. The third tip is to ask for extra vegetables in your favourite local dishes such as your hor fan or your fried rice. Last but not least, try adding tomatoes or even finely grated carrots to your pasta sauce. So what about your fruits? Why not try these other 4 tips? The first tip is to add fresh fruits to your morning cereal and oats. The second tip is to have a bowl of fruit within reach for convenient snacking. The third tip is to freeze your fruit chunks or even puree them to make them into popsicles. And last but not least, try blending your fruits with low-fat milk or yogurt to make them into a healthy, delicious smoothie. Hope you have picked up some tips to reduce the risk of AMD today. For more nutritional tips and inquiries, do look us up at kdph.com.sg or call us at our Core Dietitian Hotline 9832-2983.